So I have here a Bluetooth device for communicating and it's a little bit bulky and I'd like to integrate it into my ear defenders, my Peltor ear defenders. So I have an idea. If I take out the electronics then they should fit in side the ear defender. So here it is. Now the tricky bit is controlling it from outside the ear defender. I have an idea. Let's turn it around. This is the on button and this is the off button. Well, as you can see here are all the buttons but with a bit of soldering, I reckon these points here can be soldered and as you can see, if I hold that down, it comes on. So all I need to do is create some extension switches for each of these and mount them on the air defender. So progress so far on integrating my Bluetooth communications into my paramotor uh, ear defenders, Peltor ear defenders. I've put all the buttons, drilled out all the holes for the buttons here. So I've got the on button and all the channels. I've got the volume up and down. I've got the phone connecting button, I've got the off button and I've got the 3.5 millimeter jack to charge the battery. Um, as you can see I've got lots of diagrams and I've also got the speakers on these plates here which will go inside with the microphone attached. Um, I've made diagrams of the Bluetooth electronics um, and where I'm connecting the cable from one side to the other. Um, yeah, so it's looking good. So I've been doing some soldering, been soldering up the um, the buttons. So let's take a look at the hardest side, which has been a bit of a mission, as you can see. It's spaghetti junction in there. Um, it's all, all wired up. So all I need to do now is um, get the speaker for this side, wire that up, and then I also need to take this cable out, thread it around the the, um, the helmet, and connect, thread it back through, and connect these buttons up, which is going to be fairly easy. There's a lot more room in there than the other side. Um, and then finally, the microphone. Bit of uh, speaker material over the top, and uh, and then hopefully it should all uh, work really well. So it's complete. The Bluetooth communication device, which was in this case, is now in here, all integrated. All nine buttons, all nine, so you've got channels, phone, volume, and um, the on button here, it's all integrated into the um, head cups. So coming around to the left side, I have the phone button, and around the back, there's the off button. And then coming around to the right hand side, I've got the on button, the volume control up and down, and around the back here, two blue buttons, and another two blue buttons at the front, and there for the extra channels. Um, also the microphone here, um, and 
This here is the 3.5mm charging jack and both sides are connected with 12 core cable which goes through the head helmet lining um, to the other side um, and yeah, I don't know if I just mentioned that's to charge up the uh, battery which is in this side um, yeah and it's working really well so I can I can talk to someone else who has uh, one of these or up to four or five people which has one of these uh, the range is just under a mile uh, the aerial is the aerial kind of wraps around the casing and yeah really really good um, the other thing you can do is you can um, do hey Siri on your iPhone and call someone which makes it really easy to make a phone call when you're flying um, so yeah really really pleased So Patrick has just asked if I can control the buttons with winter gloves. Well that was the whole reason why I put the buttons all spaced out um, in the um, ear cups because I couldn't actually control the buttons on the tiny little Bluetooth device. So let's just put this to the test. The Blaze wear winter gloves and to turn it on, simple on and to turn it off, simple, volume control, easy, channel buttons, no problem, and the phone button, no problem, all good. So before I end the video, I want to share the list of items I've used to create the um, Paramotor Bluetooth headset. So I've got the XL Van 6 Riders Bluetooth device. Uh, 1200 meter range, the Pelter Optime 3 uh, ear defenders, so everything was integrated into these. As you can see, um, 12 core cable coming in um, to the Bluetooth electronics using the 12 core cable, um, and some grommets were also used put on each um, ear cup to pass the cable through, and some fiberglass epoxy sheet which is really easy to cut and shape so I could um, stick the uh, speakers and put them in each side of the air defenders um, and some 3.5 millimeter jacks which I can plug the um, the charging cable which has a USB on on the opposite side and finally the buttons all different colors to uh, position in each side of the air defenders and then I had to drill holes through each um, of the air defenders so that the, the buttons could be positioned where required. And of course the planning stages where I've created various drawings of the air defenders, of the buttons, where they're lining up to the buttons on the um, Bluetooth device electronics, um, numbering and labelling um, each button. And I had to allow for the 3.5mm lead connector which charges up the device and connects to the speakers and microphone. So yeah, that's it. That's my successful project and hopefully you will find this useful and if you do, let me know in the comments below.